AP bioxyl oxalic acid is a great choice to control varroa mites during a broodless period. And today I'll show you how to use our oxalic acid dribble kit. It includes 35 grams of AP bioxyl oxalic acid, enough for 20 hives. Also, a pair of rubber gloves, safety glasses, a mask, and a syringe. The OA dribble method is done using one-to-one -one sugar syrup as the carrier for the OA. We just have roughly equal amounts of white granulated sugar and water, and we're going to mix the two together to make this simple syrup. The exact amount of sugar and water is not important. The important detail is that you use one liter of this syrup, because with one liter of the syrup, and the 35 gram bag of OA, you will have the proper concentration of OA to syrup. And then we'll know it is enough OA to kill mites, but not so much that the bees will be hurt. At this point, I suggest getting familiar with the syringe and practice doing a dribble treatment. You'll notice the instructions we're giving here and that are on the AP Bioxyl package refer to milliliters. The syringe has units of cc's, which is cubic centimeters. Don't worry, cubic centimeters are the same as milliliters. Wear the gloves and protective gear so that the feel is the same as when you will go out to the bee yard. Those spaces between the frames are sometimes called seams. The goal of the real treatment is to get the OA syrup on bees between frames, in the seams. The ultimate goal is to distribute the whole 50 mil into the whole hive. So this might be 30 mil on the bees in the top box and 20 mil on the bees in the bottom box, for example. The bees will move around and contact each other and the syrup gets distributed through the whole cluster soon after the treatment is given. This is a contact miticide. The mites clinging to the adult bees get OA syrup on them, just like the bees do, but the mites are killed. So now it's a day between 40 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit, or thereabouts, and it's a good temperature to do the dribble. So that means now is the time to mix up your treatment solution. Don't make it ahead of time and store it. It doesn't store well. Now, if you have 20 hives, mixing the packet into the whole liter of syrup is easy. But what if you have less? I'm going to show you how to use a scale to divide the package into smaller amounts. We're going to mix up a quarter of it, the amount for five hives. Let's get familiar with this scale. I'm turning it on, and there are just a few details to tell you about it. First, are the units correct? It might come up as ounces, for example. This one came up as grams when it first got turned on. If yours doesn't show grams, touch the mode button until you get grams. We don't want to put the oxalic acid right on the scale, so put on some sort of tray to hold the powdered oxalic acid. We don't want to have the weight of the tray included in the weight, so now you touch the tear button, and even with the tray, it will start at zero grams. Put on your goggles, gloves, and mask, and measure the dose out. Since we want a quarter of this 35 grams, we're going for 8.7 to 8.8 .8 grams. And mixing in the measured dose of oxalic acid with a plastic spoon, or a wooden spoon. Don't use a metal spoon or a metal container. Mix it up until it's clear. Bring the syringe and add your veil over your mask and goggles. Also bring along your smoker. And it's great to have a friend with their own veil and hive tool. And I'll show you why. Today in November in Greenwich, New York, it's in the mid to high 40s and no bees are flying. We're wearing veils because the bees are warm inside the hive and might fly up quickly towards our faces. I'm teaching a new helper how to pry boxes apart here. 
It's best to pry under the side wall so you're not pushing on bees' bodies with your hive tool. Now I want my helper to just hold that box tipped up a little with steady downward pressure on the hive tool. If the bees poke their faces out, I'll give a little puff of smoke. A few frames from the bottom box have stuck to the top box's frames, so I'm prying them down. Now we'll do what we call the tip up, which is to pull the box backwards a little bit and then lift the back end of it upwards. I'll take out these old Formic Pro pads that we gave them two months ago. After a treatment, bees could drift to your hives from untreated hives, for example, in the woods. And this is how colonies get reinfested. A winter OA treatment will clean up mites that have arrived on drifting bees, and your bees will enter spring as strong as possible. It's important to keep mites low all year to keep viruses at bay. OA can also be vaporized, but with the dribble method, the equipment is less expensive and you don't need to wear a respirator. We know we're going to also need some OA syrup in the top box after this bottom box is done, so we're putting 30 mil on the bees down here. Just using that steady controlled press of the plunger. Now tip the box down and scooch it forward. If a few bees are crushed at the edge of the box here or they do fly out and don't make it back, it's a very small amount compared to the huge amount of bees that are benefited by this treatment. We took a peek under the top box when we tipped it up and we saw less bees up there. So here goes the remainder, 20 mils for the bees up there. And again, the overall maximum amount for a colony is 50 milliliters of the OA and syrup mixture. The total time this hive was open to do both boxes was less than two and a half minutes. To know that you've taken responsibility and controlled varroa mites and your bees won't be stressed by them all winter is a more important positive result than any negative impact of two and a half minutes of chilly weather.